It's coming home. It's coming home. It's coming. The Van Rommel Nationals coming to Cadbury. Welcome back, one and all. Episode 45, and that intro could have aged incredibly poorly, incredibly quickly. Filming this just before the England-Croatia game, so hopefully we're still in good spirits when the, uh, when the video is actually released on Monday. We are in good spirits, however, in the league. Uh, we've currently played five. We've won four and lost one, which was actually against the best team in the league, currently, anyway. So, we're in a good position. I'll have, uh, give you a little gander over our fixtures. So, we, uh, we beat Barnett 4-2. Carlisle, who just came down, we actually beat them 2-1. Hartlepool, as we says, we lost 4-2. I think it was kind of a fair reflection. I'll go into that game in a second. And then we've just played Haven and Waterlooville. They scored just before half-time, but uh, a brace from our left-back left winger sorry and Jamie Sol sneaking in for uh, his only goal he's scored since uh, since that first episode yeah it's it's not going too badly at all um the Hartlepool game yeah no they uh, they're batters I uh, apparently have decided to block that bit out of my memory all over us they were completely deserved it but we're back for the games against Ebbsfleet and then Chippenham and we just we're just gonna do good. That's it. No more no more faffing about. We're just gonna do good. I've decided. What we're gonna do though, just before we advance, is if you could like or subscribe, we'll would be greatly appreciated. Show your support on the channel. Many new faces. It's lovely to have you here. Wherever you came from. Pop it in the comments as well. If if you've been directed it from somewhere. It'd be nice to uh it'd be nice to know where you've came from. We're going in to the Ebbs Fleet game now. Uh, Morecambe and Carlisle are currently playing one another. They're only 15 minutes in and then everyone else started playing, which is odd. But we're going to play Grashik in goal, Kerr, Joseph, Lapata, and Al Morsi across the back four. Shaw, Durkin, Azaz and Burgess. And then we've got Dodds supporting the big man up top, Jamie Sol. The only thing I'm thinking, I might put Brady back in because Brady's playing quite well. We did actually play Ebb's Fleet last year. They beat us 4-0 in the uh, FA Trophy. So if we can get a result in this, it shows major uh, improvements in ourselves. And maybe a possibility for going for that cup in actual seriousness rather than me just being a fool. I don't think it's beyond us. It's, it's, the, uh, it's the FA Trophy, so it's only limited to teams in our division at, at highest. So I think we can do it. It was very odd that the ball went out here and then got kicked back in. I think one of the factory workers was acting uh, ball boy for us. Then. 25 minutes gone. Lapata's got a uh, free kick on the halfway line. Plays it to the playmaker. Scoops it out to the uh, right mid, but it's uh, intercepted. All the way to the right back. And Sol gets a decent shot off. Uh, leading Walton for them to just smash it against his own side now. Which could have ended uh, poorly for them. Corner's put in. Burgess has got it on the... That is... That is a crying shame. Why was that offside? Who was offside? And what is the ref playing at? Where's Sol? Oh, that's just not. That just isn't offside. He wasn't interacting with the ball. He isn't obstructing the goalkeeper's view. The referee is just... is a criminal. He's stolen. One of the best goals we'll see all the way throughout this save there. What a chump. Oh, God. Jamie, what are you playing at? They've got the ball on their halfway line. They've knocked it all the way back to their goalkeeper, who's gruffed. Can only assume he's Welsh. He's lumped it forward. Their uh, strikers nod it out to the winger. Raymond puts it into Price. Oh, and it's a good block, I would say. Didn't seem that he was putting much in the way other than just generally running in front of him. But they've got a corner from that. Put to the back post. Headed to the penalty spot. Oh, well, that's fortunate. Oh, well, hold on just one second. My goal even make a save then. I need to see this. Right, so give me one second. We'll scoot that down. Because apparently the goalie made a save from this. So, block off the line from Russ. Smash it back in. What a hand. 
What a guy. What a hero. What's a save that was? I'm very impressed. Grashik. Well done. It's corner again for them. Coyle puts it to the near post. Grashik with a diving save. He's looking pretty handy, he is. Considering some of the saves we had... Oh, sorry. Misses we had from um, Smith and Coddington last year. A few very good ones there. It's half time. They've done the usual job of scaling a sheer face of a building to put some flags on, which is uh, it's impressive, given that. Probably unnecessary for the Van Rama National, though. Just coming up to the hour mark, we haven't had anything further, like highlight-wise. Um, I think we'll make a substitution, to be fair. I was expecting a highlight to come up while I was talking, but it, it just didn't. Uh, Azaz, right, what can we do for Azaz? I'm thinking we'll put Bromley on for his ass, move Burgess over. Who can play the playmaker role? Bromley. We'll leave Bromley on. Um, we might swap Brady out for sure, and we'll give that third substitution to maybe 75, 80. There is a highlight. 67th minute. Kerr has it at right back for us. Lumps it up. Sol doesn't feel like challenging it, which is, uh, which is nice of him. Their player's running... Oh. Oh dear. Gotta be honest, I was expecting more to come from that. <laughs> it was just terrible. Goalies put it to Lapata for us. Durkin's got it out on the left wing. He's cutting inside. Ooh, that was that would have been a brilliant pass if it had actually passed it to the other winger, because there was uh, there's definitely an overload on that right side for us, but he just kicked it to their fullback, which is good of him. Uh TNC has put it in. Russ. That was a bit disappointing. It wasn't anything particularly groundbreaking or particularly like good in that attack he just a hopeful ball into the penalty spot center back didn't feel like challenging for the header and the goalie just kind of waved his arms about it went straight in the middle of the goal that was just terrible well let's not watch that again we've gone attacking we've got a throw in at our left back El Morsi he's kicked it he's reflected off gone to Dodds he's put the ball in sure just over we made that third substitution now, um, we've put on McBride for Durkin at left mid and we've pushed El Morsi up so McBride can then go and take that left back position. A bit frustrating considering we had that goal uh, ruled out that shouldn't have been ruled out and was an absolute peach. Awfully sorry, my dog was trying to break in. <laughs> Ball's on our right mid. Been looked forward, Sol's brought that down. Is he gonna get some no no it's goal kick for them? That's he's he's been a bit annoying. Scores four goals in the opening game, scores one in the following four, and misses a really good opportunity in this one. I don't really have grounds to be looking at dropping him, but he is annoying me. That was a decent header. It was a good save from their goalie, to be fair, so I can't be too critical about that one. It's just oh. It's just frustrating. We had a goal ruled out. Sol missed that shot just after the goal ruled out, which probably I would have expected him to score normally. It's just a bit frustrating. But, as we said, I don't like losing games. That's my issue. Don't like losing a game. I'll play for a draw if I know the game's gone. But, even if, like, realistically, I probably shouldn't be winning this game, it's still going to annoy me if I lose it. It just is. But, uh, on the long of it, it's not too bad in the league. We are uh, in the playoff positions at least. Yeah, we're fourth. I think realistically what we can look for is mid-table push for the playoffs. But we'll see We'll see how things play out. There's two minutes of the game left. We've been on attacking. It's done nothing for us. So I'll drop us to balance for the last few minutes. Um, it's, it's another poor goal, but this one has been ruled out. Have we, um, have we put down the thingy a bit too slow? Should we kick that up a bit? I think that's too fast now. I sort it out in the game between. But we've got, what, 30 seconds of, uh, of time left in the game. Kerr throws it to Sol. He's... what's he doing? Put it to Burgess. Oh! You love to see it. You just do love to see it. Now we're going to play for that draw I was talking about. It's frustrating that... He um he missed out on the goal earlier, but to score that, even with an unlucky like save from their goalie, 
I'm I'm more than happy with it. We scraped a point out of the game. Our first draw of the season, actually, I believe. But uh, Sol gets the assist. But Jess, one of... Oh, it's brilliant. Goal is unfortunate. I don't even think it came through like a sea of bodies to one sight him. He just... He's made a handful of really, really good saves and then lets that in. But, I mean, looking at XG, we should have had two and we ended up scoring one in the depth of the game. So, we definitely deserved our point. Chippenham. Grashik in goal. Aina, Joseph, Taylor, Almorsi across the back four. C. Shaw and Durkin out wide with Azaz and Burgess in the middle. And then we've got Dodds supporting McGregor, who is a youngster we signed from Man City last year. And considering... Um, what's his face? It was annoying me. I've lost him. I've got his name already. Gone. Soul. And I just noticed that McGregor was in my under-23s and I hadn't used him. We'll ping him in. Chipping him are currently in the pitching in Southern Premier, which is, I believe, the tier lower than... Oh no, sorry, it's two divisions below ourselves. Keep forgetting we're in the national. Um, I think we'll we should should be able to do all right against these. Um, I don't suppose there's much else to do other than get into the game. I'm going to put Gilmore at left mid. Feeling it. I'm also going to put Brady at right mid. Feeling that as well. We have a highlight straight from kickoff. Played back to the defence. And then they've just smashed it upfield for little to no reason. Sainsbury back to Felipe, all the way up to their right side, but uh, it was intercepted by El Morsi. Gilmore's uh, heading forward on that wide wide side. It's not a thing. El Morsi's picked it up again. I don't think he needs another player on that left side. He's just, <laughs> he's just got Gilmore's in front of him, ran himself into a cul-de-sac, and then he's just kind of went, I'll sort that out for you again, lad. Decent ball in, McGregor wasn't able to finish, but it's looking promising at the moment. Eight minutes in, the game between Floyd and Boreham Wood. It's been two red cards. I don't know what the hell's going on over there. But I know what's going on over here, and it's currently 0-0. So McGregor's going to try and do something about that. With his 18 finishing, he's going to pop it in the net. It's an assist from Gilmore. It's what we need. It's what we want. And obviously... Because it's a non-league club. It's a mistimed header. Look at this. Whoop. No, it's not. Didn't even attempt it. Wasn't fancying it. Fair enough. Dickens paid the price. Price is his centre-back partner. That was, that was the joke. It's thrown for us on the uh, left side. Al Morsi puts it into the back post. Oh, it's a good pick-up from him. Pick, pick. No, I'll, I'll stop it now. He's bopped it forward to Sainsbury. Taste, taste the difference? I don't know where I'm going. McGregor scored a second there. Harry Taylor's got the assist this time. It's all a bit good. It's all a bit good. Maybe we start playing McGregor for a few games. See if Sol uh, decides to start scoring again regularly. But McGregor's done alright with both them finishes. I know it's chipping them. I know he said only chipping them, but we know what happens when you say only and a team. They end up scoring and beating you. So let's not say only. But it's chipping them. There's trickier teams in our division. Felipe's got it in the middle for them. Tries to put it out to his right mid, but Gilmore intercepts this time. Al Morsi smashed it forward. McGregor's brought that down fantastically. He's in for his hat-trick. He's got his hat-trick. It's 26 minutes in. He's looking a pretty decent player, to be fair. But good little pass back. El Morsi sees the ball, smashes it forward. Again, a defender just doesn't even attempt to win the ball. But McGregor brings it down brilliantly and gets into the area and smashes it into the near post. Highlight straight from kickoff. It's back to their centre backs. They're playing it around quite well. Takahashi got it to Sainsbury. Felipe. These names are all a bit funky for non league. Normally you just have like Smith and Johnson. But no. Takahashi. Hetzka. Not Sainsbury, it's a bit dead. Just. Do you want to calm down, Gilmore? He nearly put that player in blooming coma then. Right, Azaz has it. Through to Dodds. Back to Azaz. Knocked it forward, McGregor for his fourth. Decent save from the goalie. 
It's a corner for us. On our left-hand side, Gilmore takes it quick. Joseph heads it just wide. Just before half-time, we've got a throw-in on our left side again. Al Morsi uses his man behind Azaz. Puts in a good ball, but goalie's going to make that all day, really. He, uh, he pops it forward to their right side, which again is uh, intercepted. Dodds put it through to Brady and he rackets it off the crossbar. It's 4 0, and surely no further highlights till half time. It's a ball smashed out. And Morsi does well to put it forward. McGregor nods it back to his strike partner. Dodds feeds through Brady and he rackets it off the uh, underside of the crossbar. Pretty aesthetically pleasing goal. But as we said, it is half time. It's looking more than convincing. Let's have a look if there's anyone on the bench that wants to come on for a, uh, for a for an appearance. I mean, there's no one there really that we'll look at and we'll think, uh, you're probably not going to get played in the league. The only one would have been McGregor, but he's put himself in a uh, in a good account of himself, should we say. It's a highlight from kickoff once more. I want to just double check. Yeah, I'm on key highlights. Apparently every highlight, uh, every kickoff is, is it deems a, a highlight. Such excitement. Gilmore's got the ball. No, he hasn't. He almost got the ball. Radcliffe puts it back to Price at centre back. Taylor nods it over to his fullback. Dodds does beat the uh, fullback to it. Brady is through on goal. He's scored. He's 5 0. Beautiful. Another assist from Dodds as well, is that? They're playing quite well. But again, again, it's the team two divisions below us. Again, a fullback or a defender is being caught either unawares or not reacting to a ball they should have reacted to. So let's take this result with a massive pinch of salt. But either way, it's a good result. Dropped it to balance and I've just praised him. But uh, Al Morsi has it. He lumps it forward. It's his special move. McGregor brings it down. Puts it to Dodds. Puts through McGregor for his fourth. Ah, oh, straight at the goalkeeper. Right, what I'm thinking, uh, we'll leave McGregor on actually. We'll take Dodds off for Sol. Can these two swap around? Not particularly. We'll just leave Sol as the supporting one. Uh, I'll take Joseph off for no one. No, I won't. I won't take him off. Who else have we got? We'll bring Bromley on for his ass. Because I know he can do that. And I kind of want to get him used to that deep line playmaker role. About 15 minutes left. Drop some more praise on them again. They're doing well. They had a free kick on the right side, but we've uh, headed it out, and it now appears to be 2 on 1. I'm not sure how that's happened quite so quick, but Brady's just smashed it against the uh, defender rather than trying to get the ball in. It has made its way in in the end, and Gilmore's got a shot off just on the corner of the D. We went just wide a goal. Corner for them on their right side. Brady heads it out with little to no challenge. It's been lumped back in. Griffin, Aina smashed it forward. Now, I think everyone's just kicking the ball as hard as they can. I don't, I'm not sure if they realise that this isn't some sort of massive game of volleyball. It's actually football, where you can keep the ball on the floor and like pass and walk with it and stuff. Right, it's, it's, it's quite annoying. But Hitchman's got it. Price for them, smashed it forward. Sainsbury, ooh, it's a pretty tame shot, but Grashik uh, had all day to pick that up, really, didn't he? He smacked that forward. McGregor, ah, he saw the run of Brady, but passed it a little bit too early for my fancy in. But it's ended up in the net. McGregor scored his fourth. And he's now only one goal behind Jamie Sol. Decent nod over from Sol. Sees his man. McGregor. See, I hold on to that. And play it so you can put Brady through. But he was like, nah. I'll play it to you. I'll run and then you can put me through. I don't particularly care, to be fair. It's 6-0 and the ball's ended up in the net. Just inside the last 10 now. Uh, I think we'll make this last substitution. Uh, who do we want to bring on? McBride... Kerr, Durkin maybe. Now Gilmore's played all right. We'll take Brady off, um, and we'll put Shaw on. I know Brady's in for his hat trick actually. Now we'll bring Bajess on for Taylor, and we'll put Kerr on at centre back, and then we'll just change him to a ball winning mid on support. That sounds good. So we'll give him some fresh legs, and we'll just give Brady a rest in our next game. But either way, it's been a pretty, uh, pretty comfortable. 90 minutes for us. Well done. Florence cheated. I don't understand how you can overlook all those missed chances. Yeah, McGregor was good, but surely you would have preferred a bigger win. He scored four goals. It was his debut. Pretty face. We'll be back for the games against Solly or Moors and the game in the FA Cup. 
it does say we're on for three games in the same day. I'd hope that uh, the Bromley one gets rearranged, and then we're only playing one game in this cup, but we'll have to see when we get closer. The reason for the Solly or Moors game is, uh, I think I mentioned it last episode, but we are actually playing at Damson Park. So it will be a home game for us at the game which we're renting from the team that are playing away. If you enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, click the bell, and thank you very much for your time.